but 1967 would bring joy. Married three years, Hugo and Jane now had a son. Little Hugo, nicknamed Grub, would grow up in a world most children never even see. Spending less time at work to be with Grub, Jane modeled her behavior after the patient, affectionate, chimp mother she had long observed. Gombe was the ideal place to raise a child, she said. You could focus on the important things in life, family, unity with all living creatures, being part of the natural world. As she watched her own son grow, Jane continued to track the development of Flo's son, Flint, who was now four and a half. Pregnant with her fifth child, Flo was increasing her attempts to wean Flint. Typical of youngsters his age, he resisted, still trying to suckle and demanding to ride on Flo despite his large size. When denied his way, Flint threw violent temper tantrums, even hitting and biting his mother. Perhaps because she was too old to cope, Flo often gave in and let Flint have his way. Later, this would have grave consequences. Later that year, the baby was born and Jane named her Flame. Still attached to the placenta, Flame was just a few hours old. Because females give birth only every five to six years, a newborn always stirs much curiosity among the youngsters. Jane wondered what the birth would mean to Flint. Flint's behavior would be expected to change with the new arrival. But instead, he was getting worse. Even after the birth of his sibling, when most youngsters become more independent, Flint continued to pester his mother for attention. And more often than not, Flo gave in to his demands. Even with flame at Flo's breast, Flint sometimes tried to suckle. Six months later, while Flo was ill, Flame disappeared, never to be seen again. With no baby to care for now, Flo stopped even trying to encourage Flint's independence. Jane wondered if he would remain an infant forever. Life expectancy of a wild chimpanzee is guessed at 40 to 50 years. Flo, now well past 40, was feeble and worn spending most of her time resting quietly near Flint. Although I knew that Flo had become very old indeed, it was still a sad day when I found her dead body lying in the stream. For me, it was like losing an old friend. For Flint, it was like losing his whole world. Flint stayed by himself, close to the place where Flo had died. He ate very little. He became increasingly lethargic and depressed. And finally, in this state of grieving, he grew sick. Three and a half weeks after losing his mother, Flint died too. <laughs> <laughs> 